Hey guys, what's up? It's Scott. Let's keep it simple. And today we're going to show you how to jailbreak the Apple TV on iOS 5.1.1 or 5.1.2 with Season Pass. So now you're going to download Season Pass. The link is provided in the description below. Then once it's done downloading, you're going to want to unzip it and launch the application. Once you've opened the application, select Create IPSW. Now I'm going to kind of speed up a little bit, but basically what this will do is it'll create a custom jailbreakable IPSW for your Apple TV. Once that's done, it'll prompt you to put your Apple TV into DFU mode. To do this, plug in your device and press and hold the play and pause button at the same time while pointing it at your Apple TV for seven seconds. Your Apple TV will start to flash, however, mine doesn't for whatever reason. Then eventually it'll let you know that it found a device in DFU mode. Now if you have a problem with Season Pass and it doesn't want to respond, just click on it and it should find the device in DFU mode. Season Pass will go through these following steps. I've sped them up a little bit. So eventually iTunes will load up and I was gone in the other room while this happened. So I didn't notice it, but it actually failed for me. I don't know if it's because of the iTunes plugin could not load in 64-bit mode. However, if it doesn't go per perfectly for you, uh, let me show you exactly what I did, and it still worked for the jailbreak. So the actual error is iTunes script failed. And if this happens, just grab your IPSW and drag it to your desktop, close out of it, and then open up iTunes and do a custom restore for that IPSW. And the way that you do a customer store is on a Mac holding command and pressing restore and on a Windows I believe is control restore. So now iTunes will do the rest and it'll basically restore your Apple TV with a custom IPSW. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up a little bit for you guys. If you didn't get that iTunes script error when you were running Season Pass, then this will just happen automatically. Eventually this step will be finished and iTunes will prompt you that it's okay to plug your Apple TV into the TV. Now in order to continue with the tethered jailbreak, you have to unplug your Apple TV and then replug it in just for a quick second. Otherwise, for some reason, this tends to not work. Then plug it into your computer and press Tethered Jailbreak. Then you're going to re-enter your, your Apple TV in a DFU mode. And when that's done, it'll let you know it's found a device in DFU mode. And again, if you have a problem with it not responding, just click on the Season Pass application. Season Pass will go through just a few more steps. And then get in the ready position because you'll just have a few seconds, about 10, to unplug your Apple TV from your computer and plug it into your TV. Now while that happens, your Apple TV may reboot a couple times. Don't worry about it. It's not that big of a deal. Eventually it will reload and you will see FireCore on your Apple TV. And that's all. You jailbroke your Apple TV, so good job. Well, that's all for this simple video. If you like it, consider subscribing. I'll see you next time.